All righty, everyone. We're going to get started. So can you have your attention, please? Um, thanks for coming out for our GIRP event today. Um, if you don't remember me, I'm Romney Hartford, the GIRP advisor. But today we're going to learn about Dixie State. And Sydney has all the information that you would never want to know. Okay. Um, so I'll turn the time over to her. All right, hi everyone. Like she mentioned, my name is Sydney. I am from Dixie State University. I'm the admissions counselor for Northern Utah. Um, I'm going to give a brief presentation on Dixie, um, and then we'll do like a fun little video, um, and then I'm going to do a quick little virtual tour with you as well. Um, if you guys have any questions online, just throw them into the chat and I'll get to them at the end. But I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So Dixie State University is located in St. George, Utah, which is the southern part of the state, probably about five-ish hours, five and a half from here. Um, if you don't know where that is, yeah, it's about an hour and a half from Las Vegas. Um, we are a four-year institution. Um, we're officially D1, which we are super excited about. Um, but we are still open enrollment, which basically just means any student who applies to Dixie State, as long as they complete the application and turn everything in, um, will get admitted. So that's kind of exciting. Um, if you're a little bit worried about you know, where you're going to go to college or your GPA or anything, that's okay. Dixie is still open enrollment and will be for the future. Um, this is kind of some of our core values over here. Um, active education, destination, innovation, community engagement, preparation, and tradition. I'll touch on these a little bit, but those are our main core values at Dixie State. Um, these are just kind of some fun facts about Dixie. Um, we are the lowest um, university tuition in the state of Utah. Um, our average class size is about 20, um, and we are 100% acceptance rate, like I mentioned. So as long as you apply and complete your application, you will be admitted. Um, over 82% of our students are offered scholarships, financial aid, or grants of some sort. So if you're worried about how you're going to pay for college, Dixie is a great option because there's a very good chance that you will be eligible for financial aid or scholarship. Um, this is Brooks over here, this is a cute little trailblazer um, bison. Um, he is our mascot and we certainly love him. So <laughs> um, just kind of keep moving forward. Um, we are, like I mentioned, most affordable four-year university. We were uh, voted best in Southern Utah. Um, and the rated number 25 was the overall regional college in the West. So um, these are kind of some fun statistics about Dixie. Um, this is kind of a breakdown of tuition. So taking out this housing and food. So this is just if you were to live in one of our more, the most expensive on-campus housing and have a meal plan, it's adding that in there. But if you were to find campus off housing and not get a meal plan, you could eliminate a lot of this. <laughs> so just tuition, it comes out to a little bit over three thousand dollars. Which, if you compare that to some of the other universities in the state, that is extremely low. Which is really good for you guys because that means you probably won't have to take loans out and you won't have debt once you're done with college. Or if you do, it'll be very minimal and you'll be able to pay it off quickly, which is a huge deal. Um, and it, it gives you a little bit more of opportunity to work while you're in um, college. So. Um, this is our kind of scholarship breakdown. Don't worry about this side, that's transfer students. But this right here is um, for um, residents of Utah, so you guys. Um, we did something kind of different this year. We eliminated uh, test scores, deciding whether or not you get a scholarship. So if you haven't had a chance to take the ACT or you didn't do as great as you kind of hoped, that's okay. You can still get admitted to Dixie State and be offered a scholarship. The nice thing about our scholarships also is you're automatically considered for these top four or five that are listed here just by finishing your application. So you don't have to fill out another application for scholarships. You don't have to, you know, inquire again or submit anything special for scholarships. You just have to finish the application. So that's kind of nice. Um, it kind of gives you a breakdown here. Um, your presidential is 4.0, the top 1%. You can get full in state and it kind of goes down from there. Um, and that's what you'll be offered per year for the four years you're in college. Um, outside of this, we do have other scholarships available that you can apply for um, that are kind of more local or pertaining to what you're interested in. So definitely take a look at the scholarships website on whatever school you decide to go to 
um, when you're applying because you might be eligible for more scholarships and be able to stack them um, to cover your tuition. So just keep that in mind, even if you don't go to the team, wherever you decide to go, always look at other scholarship opportunities on their website. Question real quick. Yeah. So is that decision of just GPA, is that a permanent thing or temporary? It's, as far as we have known, or been told, it is permanent. They won't go back um, as far as we know. I mean, that could change in a few years, but as of for now, next year, it is going to stay the same. Yeah. Kind of exciting. Yeah. Different. We do still encourage everyone to take ACT, but we do need it for class placement. It just doesn't decide if you get it in it or if it's not yet. Um, this is a list of our academic programs. So we have over 200 different academic programs at Dixie State, and we are growing every year. So we're adding two to three, five different programs almost every year. So whatever you guys are interested in, we have a course for you. And if we don't, we have this awesome course called Integrated Studies, where you can combine. Um, if you're kind of like, oh, I want to do dance photography or something similar like that, you can kind of not create, but um, essentially combine the two majors together um, and have your degree be in integrated studies, but it'll be focused on, like, like I said, dance photography or whatever it may be. Um, so just keep that in mind. I do have some brochures if you have to look at this a little bit closer at the end, I can hand those out. Um, kind of moving on to a little bit more about Dixie. So we're really big on active learning, active life. What this means is we want the students to be able to be hands-on learning day one. We don't want you to have to wait until you're done with your generals and you're in your program. We want you to be able to be hands-on in the classroom starting day one. So like I mentioned, our average class size is 20. To you guys, that's probably like, oh, all my classes are about 20, 30 kids. At bigger universities, you will go into classrooms where, like I had a history class my freshman year, 480 students in my history class. That's a lot. I don't learn very well and there's a lot of other people in the room and I can't communicate with the professor. So for me, having smaller class sizes was a huge deal. You won't be in a class that they see that has more than like 45 to 50 kids. So if you need a little bit more individual attention, you want to have, you know, better peer relationships with your um, other students, they see a great option. Um, we are also a teaching institution. So that is what the teachers focus in. They're focused on teaching and not anything else, not research or anything. They really are there for the students and to help you guys. Um, kind of like I said about the active learning, active life, this um, kind of illustrates that this student right here, I believe she's actually a freshman. And she is dealing with the camera in a film, I think it's a film making course. Um, she knew she wanted to go into that, and so her freshman year, I think she's in her second semester, she decided to take a filming class and they're um, filming a music video and she's actually operating the camera. So like I said, we want you guys to be able to have that experience while you're in college so that when you go out into the workforce um, and you graduate, you can put on your resume like, I helped film a music video. It wasn't, oh, I helped some other kids who worked on a project film a music video. You can say you did that. So we're really big on helping and wanting students to be able to be hands-on with their instruments and learn um, in the classroom all the time. Also, a little fun fact, this picture up here, that aerial dance, we are the only um, school in Utah that has an aerial dance program. So kind of fun if that's something you're interested in. <laughs> uh, moving on to innovation. So we have made a really big push of uh, for innovation the last few years, and we have a building on campus called our Atwood Innovation Plaza. So have any of you ever had like an idea of something you want to create or do that's never been done before, but like you don't know really how to go about it? Okay, awesome. I've had a few of those ideas in my lifetime, so I'm more than others. But the cool thing about the Innovation Plaza is you can take your idea there, kind of tell it to uh, some of our administrators and professors, and they can help you make that reality. So um, I know we had a student who came in and had an idea uh, for a medical device on the IV trip um, in hospitals that was like a, and it had like a light in it, and it was to notify nurses and doctors when IV drip could be changed or fixed or anything. Um, she patented that um, idea that she had, they made it come to life with a 3D printer. And I think she sold it to an insurance company or to a bigger medical, um, facility and it was her it wasn't Dixie State it was her personal you know idea 
and she got to own that, and Dixie just helped her become a wife. So currently, right now, there's 114 patents filed, and 48 of them have already been granted. So kind of an exciting opportunity for students, and again, you can do that starting day one if that's kind of what you're interested in. You can take an idea over there right out the gate. So kind of fun. Uh, preparation. This is this is kind of huge for me. So 95% of our graduates are placed in a job, grad program, or military within six months of graduating. So out of everyone who graduates, there's a pretty high chance that you're going to have a job within the first six months of graduating, and which is awesome. That means, you know, once you're done with school, you, will, you won't have to stress about finding a job. You won't have to stress about, you know, if you need to go to get into a grad program. This really sets you up to stand out from other um, graduating students um, and get you in the job field. Um, kind of an example of some of the jobs that some of our alumni currently work at. Um, we have Disney, Amazon, Pinterest, um, SkyWest, The Jazz, Netflix. So there's definitely endless opportunities of what you can go into and where you can work. Um, and Dixie really does have a lot of great resources of people you can reach out to if you want to do internships or you want to learn more or work at a company. Um, we can help you get there. Um, some more of our interns this past year. Again, Disney, NASA, Capital One, uh, the Root for Kids. There have been so many opportunities, you guys. I really, I think it's an awesome opportunity that we um, allow, you know, help students get into those internships that they actually want to be in, not just an internship to have on your um, resume. Um, I kind of touched on this a little bit destination wise. We are in the southern part of the state. What this means is 300 days of sunshine. So it does not snow down there. I am from Nevada. I don't like the snow. I never have. I deal with it because I have to, but Dixie, you don't have to. It does not snow there. If it does, it never lasts for longer than about six hours. And like I said, 300 days of sunshine. Um, we are ranked the third safest campus um, in the United States. Um, and it is um, St. George itself is rated like one of the fastest growing cities in America. So it is constantly changing and getting bigger. So there's tons to do there, um, and it just gets bigger every year. Um, kind of to touch on that a little bit, so we are located near I think, three state parks and close to two national parks. So we're about an hour from Zion, two hours from Bryce Canyon, 20 minutes from Snow Canyon, 15 minutes from Quail Creek, you know, Sand Hollow, Wilmot. There is a ton to do outside. So if you like to hike, bike, um, rock climb, anything outdoors, Dixie is the place for you. Because along with those 300 acres of sunshine, that allows you to do those outdoors things outside of class every single day. Um, kind of moving on for campus life. So we have a lot going on on campus all the time. They do host events every week called our Wednesday Day activities. Um, and they just kind of set up opportunities for students on campus to get to know new people um, and come and play games. I know they play kickball a lot. They um, they need to do like ultimate frisbee. I don't know what this is, but I watched them play it. It's very entertaining. Um, yeah, so there's opportunities every week to get together and meet new people. On top of our club, we have over 85 clubs on campus. And if there's a club that you want to be interested in and you don't have it, you can start your own club. We actually had one of our ambassadors start a spike ball club because that's gotten kind of big in the last few summers. And him and a couple of his friends started the club. They actually went out to California for a tournament um, on the beach and they actually won. <laughs> and Dixie paid for them to go out to California and play that tournament. So if there's something you're interested in and you want to start a club, you are totally able to do that and we actually encourage it. On the top of that, we do have our Multicultural Inclusion Center, as well as a ton of resources and does host a lot of really fun events, as well as our international um, service office as well. Um, we do have, these are the list of our um, NCAA Division I athletics that we have on campus. Um, if you guys want to know more about that later, I will talk about that. But um, for recruiting and stuff, the coaches are kind of they do that on their own, so I don't have a ton to do that, but we do have all these options available if you are interested in D1 athletics. Um, housing. So the average student housing is about $375 per month. This is our campus youth suites. Um, this is one of our newer housing options, and they're building actually a campus youth suites too currently. 
and it'll be done by next fall. So we do a lot of great housing options and housing is um, a lot more affordable in St. George and uh, Dixie than it is at most other universities. So when you're looking for housing, we don't require freshman living dorms. You kind of get to choose where you want to go and where you want to live. I personally recommend living on campus if you can because it's a lot easier to enjoy college when you're on campus and you're there and you get to meet people who are kind of in your same situation. Um, you know, going through college the first time, new, new experiences, um, and help you get involved to make college a better experience. Um, if you guys have a chance, if you ever do go to St. George, I do encourage you to um, sign up and do a campus tour. Our ambassador, they're so awesome, they actually give our campus tours and they can answer any questions you may have about your specific programs or buildings on campus. And then we also do something called the DSU Preview, which is like an overnight stay um, where students are able to come down. We actually get to sleep in a building on campus with our ambassadors and us recruiters. Uh, and then the next day, you kind of get to meet some of our deans of our colleges and academic advisors and kind of learn what college would really be like at BC State. So if you're really interested and you want to learn more, want to kind of get the feel if it's St. George and BC State is right for you, I would definitely suggest signing up for our preview. Um, and this is kind of just general steps to our how to apply for BC State. So it's really easy. You go to our website, um, you fill out the application. Um, and once that's submitted, it'll ask for about three things. Your application fee, um, your transcripts, and test scores if you have them. Um, right now, we are currently waiving the application fee for students in the state of Utah. So if you're a senior and you're interested in applying, do it now because in about a week and a half, that will no longer be available and you'll have to pay $35. So if you're a senior, let me know. Um, and that will happen in the future too, don't worry, we do it usually every October or November. So if you're applying next year, the year after, it'll still be available. <laughs> and then last but not least, there's this quote that says, the only person you're destined to become is the person you decide to be. So that kind of just to me means college is what you make it. Whether you go to Dixie State, Utah State, anywhere in the state of Utah, or any college, college is what you make of it. If you only go to class and go to your dorms or back to your room, College is not going to be fun and you're not going to get a lot out of it and you're probably going to want to come home. Um, the more you get involved, the more you join a club or intramural sports or anything like that, the more you're going to enjoy your college experience. So wherever you decide to go, I definitely encourage getting to know more people and getting involved on campus. Um, that being said, I am going to show you a quick little video of Dixie State. Um, and then we'll do a quick little tour if we have time.
more cooking than you will ever do in your life, so if you're on campus, you definitely stop there. Um, but it also has classrooms, study halls, um, computer labs, our tutoring center is in this building, um, our career services is in this building, um, as well as um, academic advisement, scholarship office, financial aid. Basically, this, a lot of important people are in this building, um, and it is a library. So you will be spending a lot of time there regardless of what you're studying. Because in college, you do spend a lot of time in the library. Um, and this, like I said, is kind of the center of campus. Over here, you can kind of see softball, baseball, football fields. And this is the Burns Arena, which is where um, basketball games happen. And there are classrooms in there as well, in our athletic offices. And um, this building that has the dirt that it actually in it is called our Human Performance Center, our HPC. So this is a new building on campus. It just got finished last fall. It is for our health science majors. So anyone who's doing physical therapy assistance, um, um, recreation sport management, uh, any exercise science, um, population health, uh, nursing, respiratory therapy, any of those programs um, will be in this building. So half of the building, um, this one, like this part right here, um, the classrooms, offices, um, kind of labs for those health science classes. Um, and then the other half of the building is the school's um, gym. So there is a full Olympic-sized pool in there um, with a high dive. And you kind of can see in the video, the guy jumping off the high dive and the fun little like log rolling thing in the pool. That's in this building. Um, we do have a three-story indoor rock wall, which I think is one of the biggest at any university in Utah. Um, and then two or three floors of like free weights, machines, different training things. And on the roof, we have some pickleball and basketball courts as well as like a sprint ramp up to the top floor. So kind of fun, there's a lot going on in this building. They do have a lot of brand new state-of-the-art equipment and technology in this building that I think a lot of other schools don't have yet. So it is really cool. You kind of can see the guy in the respiratory therapy with the bike that has a mask on. That was the respiratory therapy class. Um, and yeah, this building is really cool. Um, one of my favorites personally. I might be a little biased, but you know. Um, this is our student activity center. So this is where our OAC and international student services are. The OAC is actually a really cool um, office on campus because, I, like I mentioned, there's a ton to do outside of class at UTC. Um, rock climbing, rock biking, anything like that. And that's the nice thing about the ORAC is you can rent equipment if you don't have it. So let's say I'm going cannoneering um, and I don't have a harness or I don't have ropes. I can go into the ORAC and I can actually rent that equipment from them. And as a student, I believe it is either really cheap or free. I think it depends on what you're renting, but 
it is affordable. So you're able to do all those outdoor activities even if you can't afford to buy your own equipment, which I think is awesome. They do have a couple of practice gyms and um, dancers in this building as well. Um, let's see. So that was this one. This is our gardener center. So this is kind of the student center. This is where like cafeteria is. We have the campus store. Um, and then there's just like a big living room hangout. So if you're here before class and you live kind of far from campus, you can hang out here if you've got an hour or two. You know, you need to get things done, but you don't want to go to the library. Um, this is the building you kind of want to hang out in. They do host a lot of fun events in this building as well. Um, and it is also pretty close to the center of campus. Um, over here, this is just like an admin building. Um, and this is dance studios and fine arts building. Um, they did just redo these, so they are just like music practice rooms and dance rooms, um, as well as facilities like lockers and uh, offices. This is the Fine Arts Center. So this actually is really cool. I didn't know this until I started working for Dixie. They actually have um, it's like a mini art studio in the lobby, and they change it like periodically throughout the year with students work. So it's kind of fun. You can come in in the community, like parents or anyone you know around campus can come in and look at students which is kind of fun. Um, this building also does have our main auditorium as well as like concert hall and then they have a ton of soundproof rooms all over that students are able to rent out and go practice their instruments or singing or whatever it may be in these rooms to kind of if you're interested in music or anything and those, along those lines kind of practice it. And moving over here, so right here, you can't see it right now, we are actually building our brand new science and engineering building. It'll be finished by next fall. It will have over 20 new science labs in it, um, and it is humongous. It is seriously so big. Probably the first thing you'll see when you come into town now <laughs> because it's so big. Um, so that will hopefully be done by the fall. We're really excited about that. And that will be for all of our like, STEM classes. And um, this is kind of what the, the math and science center looks like now, but like they said, you can kind of see down here, this is what the new lines will look like when it's finished. Um, over here we have our education building, which is awesome. We also have our like preschool attached to that education building right there, which we're hoping in the next few years will be redone as well. Um, the testing center, um, so campus housing. This is the campus view suites, which I kind of touched on earlier. Uh, the cool thing about the campus view suites, so let's say you live on campus, you live over here. To get from here to pretty much anywhere on campus, the longest it'll take you, even if you walk, is about 10 to 15 minutes. So that's really nice. If you've got classes at 8 a.m. and you don't want to have to fight people for a parking spot, you can just walk. And it's not very far and it doesn't snow. So lots of perks there. Uh, there are a couple buildings around, um, like the city that's over here, this is the hospital, so some of our testing program students uh, are able to go and take classes in this building over here with our hospital. So this kind of just an overview of St. George and where Dixie is, we're very central in the city, so pretty close to everything, um, which is nice, and it's really easy to get to if you're in St. George. So, does anyone have questions in here to start about Dixie or Canvas or anything like that? Okay, awesome. How about on Zoom? Any questions? Oh, where did I go? How do I pull up the Zoom? Uh, I like you can, yeah, click on click on Zoom there. Um, oh, there. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, you know, there's. Is there a mountain bike club? That is a really good question. I actually don't know. I'll have to look into that one. I'm sure there is because there are so many students who do mountain bike, but I'm not sure. If there's not, you can create it. So <laughs> that's the nice thing. <laughs> um, any other questions? Anyone in here? Okay, awesome. I do have a couple stickers, pens, air fresheners, and some brokers if you're interested. Um, if not, thank you so much. It was so nice to be here. Um, if you have any questions, you guys can always reach out to me um, with questions. And thank you. Thank you.